Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It is Saturday morning, it's around 8 o'clock. I'm getting all packed up, all organized, all the things. I'm probably gonna go for like a little walk around the city um, and then head to the airport. Today's um, advent of kindness is pick up trash when you see it, so that's what I'll be doing. And yeah, so I just finished getting ready for the day. Nothing too exciting. I got a Lululemon hat on. I really loved. I was never someone who A, wears a baseball cap very often, but B, travels with one, and I love it. Don't have to worry about my hair, don't have to worry about putting my headphones on, it's, it's great. And then just a cashmere sweater, and then some joggers. And I don't know how to say it, are they Veja? The V-E-J-A shoes, they're super comfortable once they're broken in, so I've really been enjoying them. But yeah, just finishing up packing. People are always curious as to what I'm reading, and I'm actually in the middle of two books. I'll show you really quick. I am reading The Garden Within. I had seen it on Oprah Daily as a recommendation, so I've been reading that. And then I'm also reading The Wellbone Theater. The, I, I'm, in, I'm in love with it. The reason I'm reading is because Jennifer Garner did a What's in My Bag <laughs> Instagram story and she was reading it. But I'm totally, totally in love with it. Also, lots of questions if I like the scribe. It's the only e-tablet I can read on because it's like the size of a real book. I hate when the pages seem so small. So this is my style. It's super thin. It's light. It's easy to travel with. I know it's much bigger than the other Kindles, but I definitely prefer it. Now, do I utilize the scribe function? Mm, not really, but I'll link it because I'll, I bet it's on sale for much cheaper than I bought it for. So, just finishing up packing up my carry-on, and then I just have my winter coat. I was doing work stuff, so I had to bring like a dress coat, and then I have my Louis Vuitton scarf, and yeah, I just need to throw these last couple items in my bag. This is my Tagalongs. If you guys have never heard of my Tagalongs, great company, super, super great for organization for travel. Once again, we make a really great gift. I also love that this one has like the little Wi-Fi symbol on it, so I always know it's my tech pouch. I'm a big pouch person. I just travel with a multitude of pouches, but currently, these have been my favorites. All right, I'm going to get the rest of this loaded up, and... Part of Vlogmas Day 2 will take place in Indianapolis and back home. to Detroit. I am in the Delta Sky Club lounge in Terminal B and yeah, um, it's been a really good trip so far. I am excited to get home and just like decompress a bit. The travel has been super smooth. I can't complain, but I just have to say the people of Indianapolis are literally the kindest people. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I actually reached out to Delta to just talk about the kindness of their Delta Sky Club because they are phenomenal. Courtney, Anthony, Dilia, like literally the kindest people I've ever, ever met. And just my whole experience in Indianapolis was one of just like kindness. And it just reminds me and re reinvigorates me for like what we do on this channel, so. I'm going to have some hummus, some peppers, and a little turkey sandwich and chill out for a bit. It's so my girl. Hey, so my girl. How is you? Hi, 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 hi. I missed you. I missed you. You're so my baby girl. Oh, so give me kisses. Oh, so give me all the kisses. Oh, so give me all the kisses. Oh, so my girl. Hi, my girl. How are you? How are you? I missed you. I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. 
Hi, Bubba. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 It is vlogmas day two and I am finally, finally home, which I am so happy to be home. Still battling a little bit of a cough, but you know, it's okay. Bubba's welcome me at the door. Hi, you old man. Hi, old stinky old man. Hi. Hi, old stinky old man. Hi, I'm a beautiful lady. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh, so crazy. Oh, so crazy. Oh my goodness, we have advent calendars to open. We have packages to open, all the things. Most of the stuff was for work, but I did pick up this ring combo from Bubble Bar. This is my favorite ring, so I bought it while it was on sale. And then just another one. And then on Amazon, I got this little smiley face charm. Then an Apple Watch band. And then I needed a silver necklace for the our Chris, work Christmas party, so I got that. And then I saw Christina Brawley with this, and I just had to get it. I'm not a football person, but I figured if I have like a spirit football day at work, Karma's the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. And then it says Kelsey 87 on the back. And then that's it for that. So let's go ahead. I had pre-filmed day one. But now we get to open day two live and together. So let's start with our a book advent. Day two is right here. It's a little magnet that says read. I'm actually gonna put that on my fridge at work. I'm sorry, I'm really losing my voice. I cannot shake this cold. I know traveling did not help. Day two. Oh, it's right up here. Ah, so it's the wreath all lit up. So there's just an empty wreath and then that. So now that I kind of get the gist that it's the same thing, just like adorned or changed, we'll start making some guesses. Day two of Liberty is right here. Oh, my light just went out. And it is the Seated Queen. It's for a, it's a smoothing serum to nourish, plump, and repair. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. I might actually use it tonight or tomorrow morning. And now, I mean, cue the music. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Gosh, I've never seen anything this large in the Sugarfina calendar. What are those? There's something new. Cookies and cream biscuits. I'm going to throw my sweatshirt on, some comfy clothes, and then I have some story time for you. I am home and I'm still battling this cold. I know you can tell by the way that I sound, but I am so happy to be home. It was so, so good to like just walk through the door. I'm also, and I would love to know what you guys are. Are you the type of people who have to like unpack, wash everything, get it all put away in like the day you return? Because that's how I am. Like I have to get down to those suitcases and unpack them and wash them and get everything taken care of in order to like have a restful evening. And I will tell you friends, and I know if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, I um, really walk away from this trip with the idea that kindness matters so much. And I think we say it and we also take it for granted, but my interactions in Indianapolis were so different from other trips that I've gone on. The kindness of that city Every single person I met was just lovely and it made for such an enjoyable experience and it impacted me and how I felt and how I interacted with others. 
when I got to the airport, I went to the Delta Sky Lounge, and I will tell you, I ran into, well, not ran into, there I met Courtney, Anthony, and Dahlia. They were the nicest human beings, and I got to talk to them for a really long time and get to know them, and it just made the whole experience so incredible to the point where I contacted Delta and let them know about a how wonderful their lounge was but also like what good people they have working at Indianapolis Airport and that they should be treated like they are the best because they truly are it was just a beautiful experience and I think people are quick to like file a complaint we should be just as quick to contact and let people know how great people are within their workspace. It was just such an enjoyable experience, but also just grounded me in the importance of kindness. And it shifted how I felt because I was sleepy under the weather, all of the things where it would have been easy to not interact with people and keep my head down. But I'm so grateful for the experience. And yeah, it was something really special and really beautiful. I think I only have one more travel day. Um, I'll be heading into New York City this week for work, but I think that's my last travel day this Vlogmas season. If you remember last Vlogmas, oh my gosh, I think I traveled every single week, which made this a beast. So I have to get through one more travel day this week, but I am so incredibly grateful for this opportunity to share this season with all of you. The comments in video one around like how this is a holiday tradition for you, your kids, you and your spouse. I mean, this is much more a gift to me than it is to you, but I'm so happy to be part of your holiday traditions and all the things. But I am going to cut today's video a little bit shorter, but tomorrow, I am collaborating with a local store, Breathe at Home, that has an online presence, which you guys were obsessed with last year and also sold out a ton of their products. So Abby and I will be doing our live, not live, our YouTube Vlogmas Tradition gift guide there at their store. And I cannot wait to share it with you. I actually have to be there at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to sign off today, but know that tomorrow's video is going to be amazing. And yeah, friends, I hope you have a beautiful evening. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. I can't wait for Vlogmas Day 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all of them. I love you all, and I appreciate you all greatly. With that, I'll sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, kindness matters. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.